What's up? In today's video, we'll be looking at how to tag entities and do special stuff. So, what you want to do is, this will be very useful if you wanted to make like hide and seek maps like what I'm doing now. So what you want to do is you want to have a command block, we're going to repeat it into the command block right here, make sure both of those are empty. And if you wanted to do it, you could do tag at p so nearest player add and if you wanted to remove just type remove this is vanilla minecraft no mods um so you do tag at p add let's say hider and now in the top right corner it should say when I click the button that a hider Wither Beast has or nearest player has been added to hider. So you'll see that up in the top corner. Here. Ah I see what I did wrong. Hold on. So I gotta remove all of my tags first, because I was experimenting. See, I removed tag hider and seeker. That's a different hider tag. I could say, well actually, I did something wrong. Yeah, let's just do hider dump. And if we click this, it should say, add a tag hider w to wither beast. And then let's say, you wanted to give yourself something specific, but without doing a specific command so other people could get it if they had the tag. Um, let's say you wanted to do give at a a border tag equals sign H I D E R W. Make sure it's exactly the tag that you put on anything else. And then you want it to do, let's say, iron sword. No, that's not sword. Sword. There you go. Same. So you have the tagger add, and then it will give you iron sword. So let's say we did this tag re remove tag remove. at P H I D R W hider W tag at P remove hider W so if you place a button on this it will say removed tag hider W and then it will say add tag and then you have been given the iron sword and it would be the basically same for effects, if you were to say E F F E effect at a border tag equals H I D E W hider W and then another border and then let's say speed for five seconds five seconds and let's do speed five so let's say if we were to have yeah so if we have the tag hider w it would give us speed for five seconds and then if we do let's just do this in the chat this time Tag at P 
remove hide or W. That should come up. Whatever tags you have existing on the world or whatever are attached to your player specifically should show up there. And then let's say, yeah. So if we click this button, nothing happens. And then if we click this one, we get the tag and we get the iron sword. And then now we get speed. And this was just a short little tutorial of how you can make tags useful. So you could do it for all kind of stuff like slowness and whatnot. And the hide and seek map should be out in about maybe a week. I'm gonna post it in the trailer for the channel description. I mean, yeah, for the description of the trailer. And I will see you in the next one. That is currently one of the maps that I'm working on for my match. Well, actually, no, I have something more to show you. So if we, I already have a thing right here. And so it will say, remove tags. So we have no tags on. Uh, so if we pressed seekers and we pressed the desert map, it will give us slowness and blindness and then an iron sword for 30 seconds. So the hiders can hide around the map and then once that once that timer is over, you can um, go and find the hiders and then either win or lose the match. I'm currently developing a kind of timer right now. So this is the command block that I just listed. So it consists of give at a tag seeker iron sword effect at a tag seeker slowness 3255 true so true after that it's a weird thing but it get rids get rid of all the particles so if you don't want particles you can just add true to any chat command or command block or whatever etc and then blindness true blindness 3255 effect at tag seeker so if you had the tag hider on, it would just teleport you and then you would have 30 seconds to hide around that map. I'm gonna add like buildings and stuff. And then it would TP hiders. And then it would TP seekers to the same place. And then I basically just copied this over here except for the coordinates parts. Coordinate parts, I mean. And so basically when you do this, you can remove seeker, you can add hider, and if you accidentally click both of them, you can just click this button and it will remove both the tags. And if you don't press any of them, you can wait till the next round in this lobby. And that will basically wrap it up. And I will see you in the next video.